Good morning, it is Wednesday and we are up and vlogging today. Today's another day in the life in the last week of Vlogist. And normally today we'd be going to Zumba. However, unfortunately we are not going to Zumba today. Yesterday ended up being a really good day to take off of day in the life vlogging and today I'm not really sure what our schedule is going to be. I'm kind of having to hobble around our house and uh, I need to go run a few errands but other than that I probably will be propping my foot up most of the day. Uh, so I showed, I think briefly in the Arboretum vlog on Sunday, didn't wear the most practical shoes, I wore Tory Burch Rivas. And so I got a couple blisters on my toes, not a big deal, it happens, and so um, that would have been all fine, well, and good, except for Monday I went to Zumba and I wore my dance shoes. And I prefer my dance shoes, I think like a lot of dancers or former dancers do, I prefer them to be like a second skin, pretty tight, and not thinking about it, I should have just worn regular sneakers or something to Zumba. I wore my dance shoes and one of my feet ended up being okay but the other one it really messed up especially my pinky toe. I don't know exactly what it did but I think it just basically re-rubbed it or just put a blister on top of a blister basically. It's kind of not fun. But um, I woke up Monday night with throbbing pain and I had to take Tylenol to go back to sleep and then by Tuesday I was limping to get around. So today I can kind of walk normally. Uh, it still hurts to put like weight on it and my toe is entirely purple. <laughs> so I don't know what I've done. Uh, I've broken toes before and you know things like that. This, this has actually been pretty painful. <laughs> so if it's just a blister it's a pretty, uh, pretty wicked one. So anyways we are going to finish breakfast and we're not going to Zumba this morning was the long story short. And so we're going to go try to run a couple errands and need to go to the post office and then also um, maybe stop by Michael's and get a couple Halloween decorations. And then I have to go get some more dressing things for my foot. So that's what's going on around here this morning. And Natalie is up and cheerful. <laughs> uh, she likes using our packaging that we use for if my husband puts one of those drink things in his cup or if I put something like the sweetener stuff in my tea. She likes the packaging. <laughs> dropped it on the floor. Would you like cereal? Mm. Cereal. Mm. Here you go, cereal. Mm. Cereal. Say thank you. So we're just working on the repetition over and over to try to get her to add words now that we know that hopefully she can hear things a little bit clearer. So and we're just waiting for Bella to get up. Bella. <laughs> Natalie loves these sponge blocks. They were definitely her favorite thing that we brought home from the Busy Bag Exchange activity yesterday. So I've got my foot product up and I'm letting Natalie watch the Super Y. I'm kind of already admitting defeat for the day because we usually don't have the TV on this early in the day. It's 7.55. But I'll let her watch one show. She, Natalie really likes this show. Natalie, just basically since she got her ear thing done like a week ago, she never really would watch anything, probably because she couldn't hear it, so she's like, what's the point? Um, but we've let her watch Sesame Street and Super Y since she had her ear thing done, and it's crazy like how much more attentive she is. Like if we would have had something on before Bella before, Natalie would have like breezed in, not paid attention to it at all. But like right now, Natalie is sitting like watching it. It'll probably last for about five minutes or ten minutes, but that's about it. Um, but it's it's just amazing the difference it makes. But anyhow, so we uh, that's what we're doing right now. So I can stay here with the ice pack on my foot. And I totally, I don't think I've ever really mentioned my stance on TV. I don't think it really, every single like hot button issue for parenting, I think everyone should just do what is best for them. I think that people know what is best for their family. But just my personal thing on it, I don't think that like TV is the devil or anything like that. <laughs> like some people are like, you know, no TV until they're 21 or something like that. I think it's just a modern society thing that is around and can be used, you know, occasionally. I do definitely try to limit them to way under the two hour recommended, you know, time limit thing that the, some, you know, pediatric society or whatever uh, recommends. 
So I definitely try to keep it way under the two hour mark. In fact, usually I try to limit it to one or two shows a day. But the thing that we're running in now to Natalie, just since her ear thing, so really it's a new thing the past week or so, she's occasionally interested in watching stuff. In fact, sometimes this weekend she took granddad or daddy by the hand and she was, uh uh, she wanted to go out to the car to sit in the car. We have a DVD player in the car. She wanted to watch Sesame Street. So she's very interested now in Super Y and Sesame Street just within the past week. And Bella is pretty much over anything like that. Bella wants to watch Disney Junior. If she gets to pick a TV show, she wants to watch Disney Junior. So I thought this would be nice. Bella's still asleep right now, so I thought it would be nice to give Natalie a little independent time. She can <laughs> watch whatever she wants. What are you doing, silly? What are you doing? Yeah, Bella. Yeah. So we're going to do this for a little bit, and hopefully Bella will be awake here soon. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nat Natalie's playing with her busy bag stuff. I've got my foot with an ice pack because it seems to help. So we're doing that. At least numbs it if nothing else. And so we're going to hang out here until Bella wakes up. And Bella's awake now. So we're going to finish breakfast. Natalie's on breakfast part two. We're going to finish breakfast and then go get ready to go run a few errands. All right, we are headed out for errands. Everyone's got clothing on and I managed to hobble around the house enough to get out and get going. It's now 10 o'clock, which is almost an hour later than I was hoping to leave the house, but what can you do? So we are going to go run to the post office. I've got to drop something off there and then hopefully go to Target and get some more um, bandage things for my foot and that sort of thing. And. I thought I might stop at Michael's, but honestly, it's not going to happen today. I might try to go tomorrow um, just to get a few of those cute Halloween things. Obviously, stopping there is not a necessity, so I don't think we're going to go there today. Um, and so that is the plan. So uh, if you watch my other channel, I'm doing like a little kind of reconfiguration, just like a really minor one. And I am kind of weeding out all the things in my collection that I seriously really never used. And I think all the things except for one thing, one notable thing, the Totally MM, uh, I sent to another YouTuber actually. She adopted it. And so that was cool because it's like, I'm getting to see it like in videos and stuff. She's already posted videos, like outfit of the day videos and stuff like that of her wearing. And I seriously had not worn that in almost two to three years. So it's nice to see that it's getting used somewhere. I decided it hadn't been used in so long and never gotten used this summer. It was time for it to go. And then the other things I literally have never even shown in a video. Uh, an Epi Sarah wallet. I mean, I've shown my Verne ones, but I've never shown the Epi one because I've literally never used it. I bought it pre-loved and I never used it. So that's going to a new home today. And then there's a few other things, some bink offs and things like that that I have up for adoption. <laughs> uh, if you guys aren't in the bag world, these are our words. And, um, so yeah, I'm basically just trying to reconfigure my collection and mainly the things are seriously things that either have never been used or haven't been used in a seriously long time. So I'm trying to weed all that stuff out so I get my collection down to a really nice group of usable bags. So that's my plan and that's what I'm working on now because I wanted to get a lot of it done before the move. So that's the reason why we're going to the post office today. <laughs> so we're going to head over there and then head to Target and my foot already I'm wearing flip-flops, which helps because yesterday I had to wear sneakers when we went to the mom's group thing, and just the peer, like the mere like pressure around my foot, that was like the worst, like having shoes on. So I have flip-flops on, which isn't ideal for support, obviously, but because I'm kind of like walking funny, so I'm hoping I don't hurt like my knee or something. But um, at least it doesn't hurt my toe so much. This is ridiculous. All right, we're off. <laughs> All right, we are done at Target. We are going to head home. I think my four foot's had about enough <laughs> for the day. So we're going to go home and have lunch. The girls are having a little Target snack in the back, one of their favorite Target snacks, pretzels. And we are uh, going to do lunch, and then it'll be nap time and pop my foot up again. We're going to eat a bit of lunch here and then have some play time, and then it will be rest time. And I'm looking forward to rest time today because all I want to do is prop my foot up. Need more? Yeah. More? <laughs> Hot dogs, because that's about all the creativity I can muster up today. <laughs> right? Yes. Yes. All right, so the girls are going to use their busy bags for a little bit, and I thought I would set this clothesline activity up for them as well. So we're going to play down here for a bit before it's rest time. 
Can I help you? Yeah. Hmm. 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 This one is yours. Yeah. Good cheering, Isabella. I didn't know my butt. Are you helping, one's Sissy? Mine. That one's yours? Here. I like yeah. that when you help Sissy. That's very nice. Yep. Oh. So you guys try to hang them up on the clothing line. You're gonna do orange next. I can do oh. it. <laughs> so much for a nice tying job here. I don't really know if my knots are Natalie proof here, but <laughs> uh, should probably get interested in something else here pretty quickly. So, can you try hanging one up there, Natalie? Can you try picking a piece of clothing up and hanging it on the string? <laughs> Yay! Don't let me do this. Are you going to do the blue one next? Those are blue jeans. Oh, there's one behind you there. You see the one behind you? Yeah. And there's our clothesline. And the nice thing about these busy bakes is that some of them you can use during quiet time or room time, which I think is how they originally were invented or, you know, whatever, how they came to be is for moms using them during quiet time or room time where you don't want anything with noises or electronic things. But then obviously like the ones with the clothesline or probably even like lacing cards, those types of things clip. I won't use during room time because I'm missing a clip. those are like supervised quiet I'm dining activities. A clip for this. You're missing a clip for that. There should be one over there. I think I see an empty one on the line. There you go. Can you clip it up there? But the ones with the Velcro are especially good for room time activities for the older ones. Now for busy bags, I won't actually use, like, they'll always be supervised for Natalie until she's probably about two and a half. Okay. So. Uh, or with her, maybe even later. <laughs> oh, you never know with her. Uh, I'm doing my best not to get my foot here in the picture. <laughs> Are you putting the monkeys and the apples on the tree? Yeah. Yeah. We could count the monkeys and count the apples. Would you like to count them? Oh, can you help me? You want to help Sissy count? And we'll count them? So we could. Yes. Okay. Let's Natalie has one apple. One apple. One apple on the tree. Good job. And Bella just put one monkey. Good job, Natalie. One apple. And one monkey. <laughs> We're missing your Yay. <laughs> Good job. Can you see? Yay, good jump. Good jump. Be careful on the marble. Oh, no, you're not cool. Sometimes my depth perception is a bit off. If I'm looking through the camera, sometimes I'm looking over it. But uh, I thought she was on the slippery part of the... A double! Yay! <laughs> Would you like some more activities down, Isabella? sure what that is on Natalie's part. Yes, I saw it. And when they start rolling around on the floor, that's how you know you're getting close to nap time. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> Good job! I think the flashcards are over here, Natalie. Come get the rest of the cards over here. That one's stuck. This is monkey over there. 
Natalie's <laughs> Natalie's working with the sensory balloon. He <laughs> squishes. Uh oh. Can you help your sister sort the colors out? Yeah. Good job. That goes on land. Very good, Isabella. Can you find something that goes in the sky? It's purple, and it also goes. It goes beep 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 beep. beep, beep, beep yeah, that beep, says beep beep. beep. Can you match the orange cone to the color it goes on? There. Good job. Hop. Hop. Hey. Good job. And then if you also want, you can drive them around on here. And it's got water on there for the boat, wherever the boat ended up. <laughs> can you drive it around on there, Natalie? Where's the boat go? Yeah. On water. Very good. Yay! It goes the sky. Yeah. It that's goes. what we see in the sky yeah. all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Alice was a young girl. She liked to daydream. She dreamed of a strange land. She wanted to go there. Fell down, down, down. She followed the rabbit to his house. Yes, Alice followed the rabbit. We just read Alice in Wonderland and we're going to start cleaning up the busy bag items and then it's going to be rest time in a few minutes. Yes, in a few minutes. <laughs> the kids are down for naps and I am going to go ahead and sit on the couch and do some editing and that will pretty much be the extended nap time other than I just started the dishwasher but that will be the only chore that I'm doing now during nap time today. So I'm going to do some editing and put the uh, ice pack on my foot and then uh, tonight, we actually have a busy night tonight. Bella has dance class tonight, so she's supposed to be going to dance class. And then also we're supposed to go to a preschool open house tonight as well. So I'm taking her to all those things and I just kind of, you know, make it through. <laughs> So that is the plan for this evening. So we actually have a busier evening tonight than we do during the day. So nap time is over and it is snack time. So we're going to finish up snack and then get ready to go to dance class. And I can happily report that after an hour and a half of having my foot propped up and ice packs on it, it doesn't really have any pain anymore. So that's interesting and good. It was looking a little red, which obviously is cause for concern, um, but I think, or not red, but pink, you know, but I think that the ice packs really, really helped. So, um, I'm just hoping it stays like this for tonight because the pain is honestly, like it was really paining me and right now I feel like I can walk like normal. So maybe it needed that hour and a half of cold packs and antibiotic cream. So hopefully that helped and hopefully I'll be able to walk like a normal person tonight for the preschool thing and all that. So we're going to finish up uh, snack stuff and then we're going to get Bella's dance clothing on. And it'll probably be a short rest of the vlog because I did edit the beginning of this and it's like 17, 18 minutes. So I'll stop yammering about my toe. Enough about that. And um, we'll get ready for dance class. Alright, so Bella is practicing, kind of. And we I'm just have a few more minutes here before we need to leave to go. Spins. You're practicing your spins. Don't forget to look up. Don't look at the floor. It'll make you dizzy. Yeah, you have to look up and spot something on the wall. <sighs> dance teacher taking her child to dance. It's very stressful. And then we're going to go to dance and then the preschool. So it'll be kind of a short rest of the evening here. Are you excited? You show me your excited face. She showed me her excited face. She's excited. <laughs> All right, another successful dance class. Yeah, it's cool, huh? We are done with dance class and then heading to a preschool to check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog today because we're going to have a busy evening, even still from here. So if you guys enjoyed watching today and thanks so much for watching, have a great day.